I join you in Colombia to say no to GMOs. I happened to have been at a meeting in 1987 where the chemical companies whom I called the poison cartel stated very clearly that the reason they needed to introduce GMOs was to be able to patent seeds, to be able to collect royalties. They are not the inventors of seed. And the idea of doing genetic engineering to own the seed was the wrong place to begin in these 20 years of that lie. We have seen GMOs fail again and again. There are only two applications, herbicide tolerant crops spraying Roundup and Bt toxin crops. We've had experience with the Bt cotton in India. Monsanto came in illegally, and as is the case in every country, they then legalize themselves through corrupting our governments. The Bt cotton has failed to do the job it was meant to do, which is control pests. Its trade name is Bol Guard, the guard against the bowl worm. The bowl worm today is resistant, and farmers are buying more pesticides. 130 farmers died last year with that pesticide poisoning in the Bt cotton crop areas. More than 300,000 farmers have committed suicide. Most of them are in areas of the Bt cotton. 99% of the cotton in India has become Bt cotton. So GMOs create monopoly. GMOs create debt. GMOs have wiped out the pollinators. There's not a single pollinator that you can see on a Bt cotton plant because the toxic that's released from this plant is toxic to all life. It's toxic to the bees and the butterflies. It's toxic to the soil organisms. Our studies are showing that 60% of all beneficial soil organisms had gone in the soils of Vidharva, which is the capital of Bt cotton and also the capital of suicides. The farmers are spending thousands of percent more to buy the seed, and the economy has become a negative economy. They are losing money. That is why we have built the GMO-free movement, the patent-free movement, Navdhaniya in India. And I am so happy to say that after these 30 years and more, the seeds that we have saved that are GMO-free are bringing life back to the suicide areas. Farmers are earning more. Monsanto is earning less. Farmers saving their own seeds has dropped Monsanto's profits by 11 million in the cotton areas. We need a world without poisons. We need a world without GMOs. We need a world without seed monopolies, which are in the hands of the poison cartel, a group of 10 criminals who killed people in Hitler's concentration camps. They're still killing people. We must stop this culture and science of killing. We must move to cultures and science of living cultures, living economies, living democracy. This is Earth democracy, and you are taking a big step in Earth democracy by saying no to GMOs. I wish you all the strength for a future that is GMO-free.